So the first question is, do you hold the lumber while he slumbers? Don't just spread your legs because you're in love already after one date, two dates. Would you say though, Helga, that do you expect um, a tidal wave of men heading to the Philippines in the next few years uh, because of what's happening. Yes, and that's why we need to stop. We need to have a new movement, maybe P and Helga movement to <laughs> <laughs> to expose <Stop> the hate. <laughs> uh, do us uh, an awareness to our Filipina kababayan. I think we should do that and to protect them, right? Again, because right. these they don't know things they don't know and they again they just think oh hey beautiful for us if if a filipino guy said that to us we feel like oh thank you but then of course this filipina don't know anything how this um western men dating and all that because for for example for filipino you end up being with a filipino once you get impregnated by filipino the next day you have to get married right because that's tradition you have to marry that Women. Sometimes you have to be with that woman because now you're gonna start a family. Women here they protect themselves, like you know, so that they won't get pregnant. Um, right. with Filipinas, what kind of what source of protection can they can they have for themselves to protect themselves, not just for their sexual protection, but protect here too, and at the same time here. And then you think, oh my God, he's gonna marry me. Of course, a lot of. Filipina will be like, ah, that's okay. I can be a single mom. At least I have a half and half breed already. I know. What's with that mentality? Stop that, ladies. I know. I've heard that many times. And you know, this might be shocking. Some Filipinas would approach foreigners, even in the malls. Like, can you give me a baby? It's like, Ooh. Yeah, a friend of mine said that. Is this normal? Is this a scam? Am I being pranked or something? Because he was approached. Oh. Yeah. I was like, maybe genuinely, maybe because he she likes your eyes or your height. Why do you think Western guys like Filipinas? I guess for me, I just want to prove to them that, hey, we are a better partner. Like, look at that. She can love me better. That's my perspective. I want people to know that we are different from, from anybody else. We're different from, I don't know, I, we, we're even different from Thai girls, Um Colombian, Latina, we're different. We we have many special uh, and unique ways of as being a partner because even though we're tired, if the man is just treating at, us with respect and and making us feel so special for for us, we give ten times, even hundred times to make them happy, right? And then if like we're the kind of women that we don't care about how much you make. It's not about how uh, six figures it's not about that it's about are you good to me are you treating me um special are you treating me with respect do you appreciate me do you do you kiss me a lot like i love you baby that's what we want from men we just want to hear babe i love you i'm like oh my god thank you that I makes know, you know what? sometimes i feel like i'm so freaking easy easy to please not you know, the other kind of easy. Because yeah. yeah, I totally agree. Like just say you love me maybe at least 20 times a day. <laughs> and then yeah. just kiss me and cuddle with me. It's like, oh. We are, yeah. we are, very, we are very easy in, uh, again, not in a bad way. We're so easy because like, for example, for me, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't like it when my partner buys me this, buys me that. If he buys me, if he surprised me, I appreciate it. But for me, I'm not used to like, hey, I need you to surprise me. Otherwise, I, I'm going to love you. You better surprise me with um, jewelry. It has to be expensive. If you, if you give me like ring, it has to be like 10 carat gold, whatever that is. Are you in a relationship right now, Helga? Are you yes, married? Yeah. Well, a lot of people say I'm married to old men. Um, a lot of people would say that I stole that old man away from his family. And... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I am not married. I am with my partner. We've been together for three years. Um, but yeah, no, no plan on wedding yet. I'm not expecting it. Cause like, you know how a lot of 
people will say that, oh my God, like if he's not marrying you, he doesn't love you, this and that. That's the other culture here in the Western world that in the Philippines is different. Oh, if he's not marrying you, he doesn't love you. In here, it's really up to you. If you decide, you and your partner will decide, hey, you better marry me right now. Otherwise, I'm not going to, if that's your priority as a, being a woman, then, and to make you feel special, then yeah, I don't know about you, but my mom, when she raised me, she was like, Halga, you better know how to cook. You better know how to clean. You better know how to act like a lady. Because when you do that, you know how to cook. You can cook for your husband. That is your biggest asset that the guy would stay with you, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. sounds like my mom. I think maybe they're related. Helga. Awesome. Your, mom, your mom and my mom. It's like, that's the very, yeah, similar, and, very similar. Yeah, and then my mom also said, be sure also that you find the right guy who will treat you with respect and 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 you know love if you find a guy who's an abusive at the same time you leave you leave that's why he said you need to know all this because this is your biggest asset at the same time you need to go to school so that you are educating yourself because you cannot always rely on men but when it comes to starting having a family sometimes you have to let your you let your men lead as long as mm -hmm. he's Man. And I don't mind if my man is going to lead. I don't mind if if my man will dominate me in a good way. I like it when my man dominate me in a good way. You know, you know where. Um, <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that's the kind of domination that I like from him. But when it comes to like, hey, you you do this, you do that, you do that, but then you treat me with disrespect, then that's not the kind of domination that I'm looking for. But if you treat me with disrespect, I'm going to act like a Filipina girl. I'm going to fight back. Because again, that's how I was brought up. If someone is disrespecting us, we will fight back. If someone is cheating on us, we're gonna do something. We don't, we're not gonna tolerate us because you know, we Filipinas, we are, we are um, um, jealous type person. If the man is, doing things to make us jealous, of course we will become cuckoo. But at the same time, we Filipinas, we're very, very territorial. If we have a man in our life and he's treating us as nicely and with a lot of love, TLC and all this, of course, for us, they are our baby. No one should touch him, only us. They're only yeah. marry a Filipina because we Filipinas are the best. You don't even have to worry about hiring a um, um, lady to clean your house. You don't have to worry about hiring a, a nanny to care for your kids. Our family will take care of our kids. No problem. Because that's how we were brought up. Like we're family oriented. The entire family is very close. But even though a lot of people are criticizing as Filipina, oh, if you marry a Filipina, you marry the entire family. So what? That's how we are happy. That's that's part of our culture, whether they like it or not. Then don't marry a Filipina. Then you're gonna you're gonna miss a lot of culture, uh, amazing culture from the Philippines. So yeah, but again, again, a lot of people are criticizing us Filipina, like oh, she's only marrying him for a green card, this and that. That's that's not true. Yeah, there are many Filipinas that will scam foreigners. The reason why they we think it's a lot because when there is something a negative thing, the people will take it out and then use that and then keep repeating it over and over again. It's like, oh yeah, they will spread it like a virus. One one word that happened, maybe one situation that a Filipina scam a foreigner, they will spread that and then they would um, apply that all Filipinas are scammers. And to be honest, I've met a lot of Filipinas here who are married to foreigners. They're still together. Oh, I barely hear anything about, oh, like she, 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 like they broke up. She took all her, um, his money, this, and I've never heard that. As, as far as I know, all I heard was, you know, the, the husband died in the hand of his, um, Filipina wife, because for us, the thing is we're kind of person, um, partner that tell death do us part. Oh yeah. Even yeah. If 
we are even if we have a partner that is sick we take care of him most of us will just stay we'll stay till death do us part and i also actually i actually know someone it's a couple they are in a very big age gap it's almost like 50 okay 50 years apart and they're still together they're actually been married for 14 years and they're there in in canada really? i forgot which yeah, I forgot which part, but uh, I just I interviewed them a couple of months ago and they're very happy. And then, you know what? A lot of people are like, oh, she's just after his money. The guy is not rich. She's still she's still uh, she's working. She's a nurse. And I can see that they really love each other because you'd see the way she looks at him, the way they treat each other. When people say that, oh, I bet you she's only after um, his green card. You know why they say that? Because that's what they do yeah. here. They're only with a guy for, for Lamborghini because he has a Lamborghini. He's only with, with him because she's only with him because he has big muscle. She's only with him because he has six figure. We just want a man who, who, who can work. We don't expect you to, to make six figures. And this is no. the thing that a lot of people do not understand about us Filipina. Because they see, no. they see people, they're so happy, lovey dovey dub dub. Of course, that guy, yeah, he may be older than, way older than her, but is he treating her the way she wanted, she want to be treated? Yes. The guy, the guy is reading um, her love language. And of course, the, the girl is reading his love language. And that's the reason why a lot of them, they are happy. Okay, now I have some bonus questions from my previous videos, if you dare. You can answer them. You can skip them. It's up to you. So the first question is, do you hold the lumber while he slumbers? When he's asleep, do you hold it? <laughs> because some Filipinos say they like holding the banana down there while they're sleeping. I don't know. I don't know how true that is. But as a Filipina, do you do that? Yes. <laughs> Yes, why okay. not? I, I know. So okay, I, okay. So well, I that proves my point because it feels comfortable. I don't know. I mean, for me, it feels comfortable. And it's a street. It's a, a stress reliever. I know people like. <laughs> I don't know. We do this Filipina. I don't know why we do that. To be honest, <laughs> for me, it's just like hi. It's so nice. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's like yeah, stress balls. Yeah, I think that's where it. That's where it came from. It's way better because it's softer. Yeah. And you know how oh. you know how when you see a baby and they have like big cheeks and it's just mm, it's so nice. That's what we we're just that's the kind of thing that we're being sweet to them. Maybe it's abnormal for the other people, but honestly, to be honest with you, I don't know why my hand is always magnet. When I see it, it goes directly to there. I don't know why. <laughs> so this is the thing that a lot of foreigners should be aware that we Filipina do that. I think most Filipina that I know do that. <laughs> I know. You know what? I did a survey. It's like a survey within my friends. So I called them. Do you do this with your partner? And then all of them said, sure. Yeah, I do that because it, like, it feels comfortable. And when it puts me to sleep, it's like, oh. Okay, so I would say, yeah, this is a Filipina thing, or maybe generally it's a woman thing. I don't know. I have to do a survey with Western women if they do that, but I don't think yeah, so. that's so funny. They find that abnormal. I don't think it's normal for them. So but, okay, you know when you when you do that, and at this after that you do this. <laughs> oh my god, you are so me. I yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just wanna I just wanna bury my face there, like. Sniffing it. Something's wrong with me, I guess, or I don't no, know. Wrong with you because if there's something wrong with you, there's something wrong with me too. And I don't care if they think there's something wrong with me, then I don't care. I'm going to do what makes me feel happy and what makes me feel satisfied. <laughs> I know, like, cheese, like, mm, let me come oh on. The eye. That's what I want. See, I told you, you shower. That's good because we make sure that they smell good, right? Um, when I'm sitting beside him or lying beside him, my nose goes directly to his under, un, under armpit. <laughs> you do that too? Yeah, I bury myself 
yeah the, i'm the armpit girl are you and other services yeah it's always there i mean I maybe that's why my nose my nose is so flat because it's already splatted there like <laughs> no honestly i i for me like i guess that's a fetish because i i just try to do that like that only to my partner not to my other people no other people no if yeah. if, if i the thing is whenever i do my partner's laundry i go one when i when i have a lot of time i go one by one sniff it and it's like oh my god smells so good and then if there's no smell i put it back in the cabinet it's like why are you wasting clothes it's not even dirty it's no smell it's not even smelling so for so the smell test the smell yeah. test to get laundry. <laughs> A lot of Western Western people would find that taboo, but for me, maybe for many Filipinas, that's not taboo. We don't want to waste um, water and electricity in the Philippines. <laughs> okay, so what's the one thing you're hoping your viewers never find out about you? Um, They will, okay, I don't know, because right now my personal life is pretty um, act, um secret. But there will be a time because one day I promised to myself that I'm going to write a book. What I've been through in my life, um, because I was very, I was a different person. I was a different Filipina. I never, I never expect that I will become like this or where I am right now because I'm not like this. If you, maybe five years ago, six years ago, you would think define Helga, um, very simple, shy um i i would never like talk like this in public that's not my thing i'm sh a camera shy so uh, same here right so you just have oh. to learn yeah i have to this is my bread and butter and this is i know it is very very weird people think that i'm very outgoing extroverted i'm the freaking opposite yeah. I don't like taking my photos and posting it on social media. I totally understand because being scrutinized online, it I don't want them to think that I'm giving them the right to scrutinize my personal life just because I'm on YouTube. I still yeah. want it to be private because that's my safe my if, safe. Zone. Yeah, when it comes to my personal life, I have no regret. If they say to me, oh my God, really? You were this, you were that? I'm going to say, yes, that is true. And that is my past. And I don't care what you think of me. For me, I'm not going to be doing this all my life. But there, are, there is going to be a point that you'll know who he really is. Same thing, same thing. Again, sis, we all have different story in our life. Whether people like it or not. One thing for sure. It's good to know that you're living rent-free in their heads. Yes, I love that. There you go. There you go. And you know what? The fact that they they are gossiping behind us or like not even gossiping behind our back. They're gossiping in front of us. In the front of us. <laughs> and you know what? If that what that's what makes them happy, let them. Because honestly, as far as I know, I'm happy with my life. I'm doing my thing. I'm building a career that... I can travel here and there and generate income. And on top of that, I'm helping a lot of Filipina and, and, and foreigners at the same time. So, you know, that's what I'm working. I, again, I didn't, I didn't even expect this, you know, you're the bridge to, to find the love of their life and make that happen. And I am making that happen. Well, Helga, that was very nice talking to you. Thank you so much for answering those provocative questions. And I'll be sending this video to your mom. So be expecting a phone call from your mom. I'm sure she knows. <laughs> Just kidding. Best of luck in the, you know, in your TikTok wars. Yeah. No maybe our paths will cross, you know, maybe our paths will cross again. Maybe in Thailand, send me a message. Sure, I'll let you know. Let's have some tequila. I don't think they have tequila. Let's have some what's it called? Thai. Muay Thai. Thai. Yes. Well, um, guys, please check out Helga's YouTube channel. I'll be including the uh, the link on the description box of this video. Bye for now. Thank you so much, Helga. Thank you as well. Thank you for the opportunity. For those of you folks who want more of Helga. I've got another funny and sometimes spicy interview appearing exclusively on my Patreon channel. See you there!
know how cute I always thought you were. If you think about it, I'm kind of like your lifeguard, keeping you from drowning in a sea of doubt about life in the Philippines. I won't let you just dive right into the deep end without informing you about our culture and customs. And you can always count on me to take care of all the little details along the way. What is that in the pool? All right, everyone, out of the pool, out of the pool. Now we're gonna have to shut it down for weeks and get a hazmat crew in here, damn it. Oh my God, this is so disgusting. Which one of you subscribers did that? 